And this is a Mary Oliver poem, and it's called What Is There Beyond Knowing? And most of you probably will not have ever heard of this one unless you've heard me recite it before. Um, you have to be a big fan and get into the fat tome of collected works to find this one. Mary Oliver is famous for poems like Wild Geese, you do not have to be good. You do not have to walk a thousand miles through the desert on your hands and knees repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. And what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life from a summer's day or uh, the journey is another famous poem. But this one no one's ever heard of. <laughs> and she's also uh, famous for lovely little nature reflection poems where she's looking at a grasshopper or a, a bear in the woods or a creek or a tree or flowers and somehow manages to open the mysteries of the universe through through that meditation. Um, and, you know, if you go through her collected tomes, there's a lot of poems like that. And then for me, I turned the page on this one and it was, <sighs> damn, like showed me the depth of her getting it. Um, and this also feels a little bit like some some feminine sass, I'll put it that way. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to end on this. I'm not going to say more about it when I'm done. I feel like this one speaks for itself. And if you do have questions, feel free to send me an email or otherwise say hello, and maybe I'll use those questions to prompt future videos. This is sort of a new experiment. So Mary Oliver, what is there beyond knowing? What is there beyond knowing that keeps calling to me? I can't turn in any direction, but it's there. And I don't mean the leaves grip or shine or even the thrush's silk song. But the far off fires, for example, of heaven slowly turning theater of light or time that's always rushing forward or standing still in the same, what shall I say, moment. What I know I could put into a pack as if it were bread and cheese and carry it over one shoulder and important and honorable but so small while everything else continues unexplained and unexplainable. How wonderful it is to follow a thought quietly to its logical end. I've done this a few times, but mostly I just stand in the dark field in the middle of the world, breathing in and out. Life so far has no name but breath and light, wind and rain. If... There is a temple. I haven't found it yet. I simply go on drifting in the heaven of the grass and the weeds.